Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to work on simplifying a fraction. And I did want to say thank you to one of my viewers, Thomas, for sending these questions to me. I always appreciate your guys' feedback and thanks again for reaching out. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on in. So the first thing I notice is that you have this fraction and then you have minus one. So, and minus one is actually a fraction two because that's actually minus one over one, even though it's not written. So remember, whenever you're subtracting two fractions, the first thing you have to do is get a common denominator. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do that. And in order to get a common denominator, in this case, it's actually really easy because over here we have one. So the only thing we can really do is turn this one into a 100 plus M. So in order to do that, we're gonna multiply the top and bottom by 100 plus M. Because again, we can do that, we can multiply the top and bottom of a fraction by the same thing, because this over this is the same as multiplying by one. So that's allowed algebraically because it doesn't change the value. So now I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this. So we have K plus 100 over 100 plus M time, or I'm sorry, minus 100 plus M over 100 plus M. And again, that's because I'm multiplying 100 plus M times one over 100 plus M times one. So now we have two new fractions, or I'm sorry, two fractions, one of them's new, but we luckily have common denominators. So now we can go ahead and combine the numerators. So we have K plus 100, minus 100 minus m minus m oops there we go and that's a very important important point to make you're subtracting this entire thing so this minus signs gets minus sign gets distributed to both of these terms and this is going to be over 100 plus m so now in the numerator, we can go ahead and cancel these out because 100 minus 100 is just zero. And then we're left with K minus M over 100 plus M. So the only other way we could really write this or the only other thing we could really do to this is we could separate out the numerator and we could get K over 100 plus M minus M over 100 plus M but that isn't any simpler than this, really, when you think about it. So that's why I'm thinking that this here is probably the answer you guys are seeing in the back of the book. Let me know if, if that is the case, um, but I'm like 99% sure it is. So I think that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And don't forget to head on over to Facebook to join us there. It's great to be able to interact with you guys directly, and that way you guys can help each other out as well. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.